Hi everyone and welcome. This is the Adobe Live show, this time live from Adobe Max, the creative conference. And uh, we will be live for one hour, one hour. with Tallinn. Hey, what's up, Michael? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. I, I always love streaming with you. Oh, That's yeah. my favorite. That's my, my favorite, favorite show too. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you will get excited. I hope you watch the keynote. If it's not the case, you can watch a replay later. Mm -hmm. And uh, exciting news announcements for Adobe XD. <gasps> but it so was many like, so good. It so was many just, new things. And just seven minutes on stage, I said, you know what? Let's invite Tallinn and let's rock it for one hour because there are so many new features. And uh, yeah, it will open up your world, your creative world. Oh my goodness. I see some friends in the chat. I see Anne, yeah. I see Heidi. Tim I see Sharon. Matthias, Baris. Roxanne. Roxanne. Yeah, Sinead. thanks everyone. I will always Esther, take a look at the chat you if you have any questions about Chats XD. Over here today. Yeah, I will pick your questions, okay? Yep. So if I miss the question, type the question again. We will do some giveaway. Yes. We'll give away some uh, sticker credits with Sticker Mule. So stay tuned. Um, you want to see us design like. Um, some uh, video creators, YouTube creators, they will talk about Adobe Premiere Rush that we have just announced. Fresh new product, it's new. And then what's coming in the drawing apps with Sky Webster, who was on stage. Uh, then I will be awesome. back with uh, Jesus Ramirez about what's new in Photoshop. And uh, he will create uh, Compositing Live. And then I will be with uh, uh, Vashon, who is also known as Baogasm mm -hmm. on Instagram mm -hmm. and on Behance. And we will cover what's new in Illustrator, okay? All right. But now let's dive into XD. Maybe we can switch to our screen and Do start. it. I, I, I'm so excited to be sharing this, but I just gotta say like, all of this stuff here that we announced today for XD like has been in the work, like a lot of it for the last, you know, six, eight months. We've got the whole XD team's been working really hard. You know, we've been putting out prototypes and getting the getting early feedback and like all of this stuff is now here in XD because of the hard work of the team and uh, the feedback from the from the community. So thank you all. We're so excited to show off. Yeah, and this. thanks for watching us. Boris. Boris, I know you're watching. Bill Layton, that's awesome. You all love XD, you will love it even more mm -hmm. after this hour. Yeah. So that's a beautiful screen, that's new, This right? is brand new, this wow. is brand new. And I gave a little sneak of this on designing Adobe XD last week. I have heard. But this, heard. Is, this, is the, this is the new start screen, so this is what will now, when you go and hit the update button in Creative Cloud on XD, this is the new screen you're going to see. And there's a couple things I want to point out here. And the big one is over here, we're going to start here, this new add-on section. Yeah, so, so what is an add-on? So an add-on is a couple things. We, we now today are launching plugins for Adobe XD. Okay. So now we have worked really hard with some really great sort of uh, co co contributors and collaborators to oh. create some, some really amazing plugins to kind of extend the workflow of XD. So these plugins are not developed by Adobe. Not developed, developed by, by Adobe. Anyone. By third party uh, developers, by designers, individual designers, by small teams, by really great, amazing services um, to, to integrate into and extend the workflow in XD. Oh, and Matthias already noticed that, yeah, all your recent files uh, will be displayed too. That Maybe is, we can quickly true. switch to my true. screen. Yes. Uh, because uh, you, you are showing out the, my recent the files. fresh new experience. I was, yes, I was. And these are my recent files, you know, so you already have like previews yeah. of your recent projects. So yep. this is awesome. All okay. right here, you can just launch right into your work. Let's come back to the... So Welcome included in this in the in this add-on section is also all the UI kits that you kind of kind of know and love. Uh, now here, as Koi uh, Koi Vin mentioned on on stage, we're also going to be having um, a UI kit for designing for voice, which we'll be talking about a little, a little later. And then also we have here integrations. Today, today we're excited to launch some, some new integrations, um, some new integrations with Jira and uh, Slack and Dropbox. Um, so those are all here for you to kind of get going. So really exciting. That's and from, awesome. Yeah, so, so this is just a great place, great resource to start with. And so. Raphael is uh, asking, oh, will I be able to, I, I mean, mm -hmm. and it's not a yeah. joke. Yeah. I wasn't planning this, no. yeah, yeah, but yeah, we yeah, discussed yeah. this yeah. last week. Yeah. He's asking, will we be able to export a preview to animated GIF to show our transitions and animations <laughs> on Behance and Dribbble? We, so we are just talking, just about, talking this. about this. And uh, I will show you a few tricks because Raphael, you oh, I need to use After Effects for this. Not at all. So maybe no. we'll cover that. We got, we'll yeah. Cool we got some, we got we'll some, get there. We got you. We got you. So yeah. So I mean, I think the really cool stuff is yeah. just to start with. What do you, what do you, what should, I mean, there's the big one. There is the big one. Let, the big let, one. Let's go step by step. Step by step. All right. Well, one feature that's just kind of something that I think is a nice, uh, brand new thing here in XD. A nice thing to kind of get you going. If say you're working with like a design system. Right? If you're working yeah. with like a kit of parts right, that you need to share with your team, 
there's this really amazing new feature where, let's say this is, this is my UI kit, right, that I've sort of sent out to the team. It's got all my components here. It's got all my icons. It's got all my global colors. What's really amazing here now is I can start designing using these actual assets. Andrew is asking, can we do transitions with shapes in XD? Yes, you yes, will see yes. with the, the <laughs> auto-animate feature, it works with shape. We can. And so now what I would normally do if I was on this design team for Episodic, this new uh, app that we're designing, um, is I would, of course, if I was going to be designing the iPhone app, I would create a new document. And what I would do in the past is I would copy and paste stuff in here. I would use it. Yeah. But then, <coughs> pardon me, uh, if I needed to update, um, <coughs> you can take some water. But I think your point is that you copy paste elements from the uh, documents maybe made by the design team. Yep. But then if they update the elements, you will have to copy paste everything again. Like yeah. You, uh, so is there a new way now like There's to be a more new efficient? Way. Okay. All right. So now if I want, what I can do is I can, this is a symbol. So here in the... <coughs> so it's a symbol in this doc. Yep. Okay. I can copy it and paste it into my other document. <coughs> Oh, pardon me. Conference <laughs> life just drained yeah. me already. The AC, um, like, yeah. You have to imagine like like uh, we have like thousands of people around us, but we are like in a fridge, it's yeah. like freezing cold. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and I losing. was like just getting over something. Um, <laughs> so here it is now, and you can actually see there's some new little onboarding telling me this this is now linked to that other document. I like this animation of also like it's showing really nice. you what's new. Like, it's really nice. Super nice. So you get a little you get a little icon, a little linked icon on that symbol. And, oh, and get someone a little is not seeing on the you. update. Oh, okay. Let me show you. Maybe you can switch to my yeah. screen. So this morning I had to do it actually. You open Creative Cloud, and here, take this. Check for app updates. It will force the refresh of the apps, and this is how you can get the new XD. Get it now so you can follow along with Stanley. Yep. yep. Thank you. Definitely. And so now what you can do, of course, if I need to go in and actually edit that. Right, if the team, the team updated that, maybe they changed the look of this gradient blue, maybe, to yeah. like, yeah, they, maybe they made it, they're like, ah, we don't like the gradient, we're actually gonna do the, yeah, maybe the pink. pink. Okay, so you change it in another document. Yep, so I save it now for my, in the you UI save it kit. in the document. And I, now when I go back to the, my new, my new, the, so the, the app document. Yeah, it's not updated yet. Not updated yet, but there's this little preview now showing me, oh, something has changed. And what I can do is I can actually roll over and actually see the update on that icon. So I can actually see like, oh, wow, that's cool. You changed to pink. That's like just super cool. So then I can, of course, uh, update it by just simply double clicking it. Okay. So you can there keep like, yeah, all your design so system team, in yeah. one document. Yeah. My team, we can see symbols, it, yeah. colors, stay up to date. Oh, that's awesome. So it's super, super cool. Um, so, yeah. so what's the name of this new feature? This new feature is linked symbol. Link symbol. Yes, link I symbols. guess I can unlink a symbol if I, I don't want to relate yeah. to. Yeah. I can exact. I can right click on this. Oh. No, it's actually I think it's, oh, it's over oh, here. Oh yeah, it's in the here. asset library. And say make local symbol. Okay, and then no, it's I do just that, for you. No longer connected to that other document. Okay, no, it's a so, great idea. No, this is really handy and like. For like our team, we use a style guide, a kind of a system design system internally called Spectrum, and we design XD with Spectrum. So it's really handy for us to have that Spectrum UI kit, you know, that's developed by another design team. Okay. And then we consume all those kits and kit, kit of parts, and then we uh, we work inside of Design XD, and then if they update, we can just seamlessly update right in our files. So it's a really good. really handy feature. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty this good. Very right? I think that's pretty powerful for teams working together. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I've heard that you can also now import uh, Illustrator files. Can you? Yes, so you can. we used to have the, we already have the feature of importing Photoshop artboards. You mm -hmm. saw that this morning during the keynote with uh, uh, Kai. And now you can also import Illustrator files and it will also keep all the artboards. Mm -hmm. like, super smart. So if you are more like a Illustrator, UI designer, now you can reuse your work too. Which is super handy, because actually I was designing, doing some cool little vector stuff inside of Illustrator yeah. uh, myself. And let's just, let's just go try it. So I just drug, the, did I drag it? Did I do it? Yeah. There it is. Oh, so you did that in Illustrator? Yeah, I did this in Illustrator. It's just, I just happened to have it on my, on my desktop there. 
and there it is now. Brought all the objects are there from that document, all right now, right there inside of XD. This is great. Like Super handy. XD is really becoming this hub, you know, where you can import your Photoshop, your sketch file, your Illustrator files now, and uh, make them interactive, create iterations. Uh, in a very easy way and communicate mm -hmm. your ideas. So yeah. we will show you also like today with these new features, uh, you can communicate even more, like be even more expressive. Uh, should we show animations now or let's do you have it. something? Oh, oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's show animations. It's, just, it's so worth it. It's, it's so good. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Let's this is like since we started going live with XD, like when was that? It's two years ago. Maybe, yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, every time we had these questions in the chat, when can I do like micro micro interactions mm -hmm. or micro animations mm -hmm. in my screens and not just transitions. Well, this is possible now. So update XD. XD is free, by the way. There is a startup plan that is free. So make sure to get XD today. So Windows and Mac. We have this, and you may have seen this in the keynote, but just we actually go into it a little deeper. Let's go look at the, at the layers. So here I have um, this shape, right? This is my button. And now when I wire that together, here, I have some new options. New I can, triggers. Yeah, yeah, new triggers. So I have tap, drag, and voice, which we can get, we'll get to in just a bit. We'll get to it. And here now, we have a new new action, a new way to go from one screen to the other. And this is auto animate. So I can choose that. And now what's going to happen is going to look at each layer and basically animate the difference. So okay. it'll animate things like if you've scaled something, if you've rotated it, if you've changed its shape, if you've um, change opacity, it'll actually just, just automatically animate between those two states. It's like visual keyframes in After Effects, you know, like, so now I have, I have the sort of A state, and I have the B state, and now I can animate between them. So I'll wire up this one as well to do the same, and now when we go and preview it, look at that. Oh, it's also changing the shape. And wow. it's actually changing, it looks like the background, the background is shifting kind of behind it, but it's actually morphing between those two, the, the wow. shape of that, yeah, of that object. So yeah, so that's what I like. It's like very easy to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I can quickly show you also like an, another yeah, example yeah. of uh, interaction, a classic one, you know, where you know you display, for instance, uh, three cards, you know, at uh, in an app. So let's uh, pick some colors here. Okay, so you know, like when uh, it's the same with the Behance app actually on mobile, you know, where you have three cards, and uh, you want to zoom in on, on one of the cards. Yep. So let, let's change the color so you can see it. Like It will be slightly different. So how does it work? If you duplicate your artboard, XD will remember that this object is the same as this one, okay? because the layers have mm -hmm. the same name, I guess. Yeah, they do. Like, yep. okay. So if I say that during my second state, this I want to reduce it here, this I want to reduce the size too, and this should take the entire size, as if I was like zooming in on a card, that's all you have to do. Yeah. And after when you prototype, you say, okay, if I tap on this card, I want to jump to this screen. So it's a tap. I want to use, so maybe I can show what it was before, you know, in the previous version mm -hmm. with a simple yep. transition. Yep. Simple transitions, before it would do this. Yep. You know? Yeah. I mean, you get it. Yeah, it's, yeah, you, it's, you, fine. it's fine. You can communicate it's, an it's idea easy. with yeah. that. But now, like, look, it's so much better because you can tell your developers, your stakeholders, no, actually, it's the same object that will just be modified. So auto-animate, and I really like the new uh, easing. Yes, uh, the new easing is so good. There's a bunch of new I options like in there. I like snap. I don't know why, mm -hmm. I just like snap. So I would use snap. Now look at how more expressive this is. Boom, see? And maybe I can say that if I tap, I want to move back. Tap auto animate, perfect. Boom, boom. See, it's so it's good. It's more oh, light. It's so easy. It's, it's so, so easy, easy to do. I don't have to deal with keyframes, timeline. No, just no, none of that. Some steps. I mean, this is so good. So I've got another. I've got one that kind of goes a little to the next step, which is now we're going to integrate the new gesture drag. Yeah. So how right? does it work? So this is again same thing. I've got, I've got these these three cards, and I want when I want you know I want one in focus, and it's going to be bigger, right? So that's sort of like state one. And then I want to be able to drag to swipe into those other states. So I pulled in some of those design elements and now I'm just gonna copy and paste that. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna say, okay, what do I want this other state to look like? Well, I want this one to scale down. And then I want to all of these to slide over to the center. 
And then let me see, there's a 236. And then this one to scale up. Move this to the side here. Adjust that to the side. Great. Okay, now I'm going to go and I'm going to wire up my interaction. All right, got it. I'm going to now say there. And now instead of tap, I'm going to do drag. And I want my transition, it automatically switches to auto animate. And do that. And now let's go and test that out. So here, and then I drag. Uh, okay, now you snaps right into place to that other artboard. And I can go back and, and in real time wire up the one to go back. I'll just slide that over here, drag. Great, so now look at that. And I have a question, like yep. if I preview this like on my phone, yep. uh, can I drag you also? Can do, yeah, you can drag it also. With the live preview? Yep, with the live preview. Wow, this is awesome. So good, so good. Yeah, I have a finished example here. Like I was playing with the photo album UI. Um, so what is important and what I discovered, yep, yep. it's better to group your elements. Yes. You know? It's better to kind of keep them together. Yeah. yeah it's I like totally. grouping layers. Yep. Uh, and then, so you see, this is my group here. And I have the three pictures. Because the third picture is outside my artboard. So pro right. tip, group everything, OK? And then, so this is the same group. But as you did, like I changed the opacity and the size of right. picture two. And I changed the opacity and the size of picture three. You connect your three artboards with a drag auto animate. And that's it, you see? It's simple. And it snap. It's so good. It's so Super I, easy. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this feature in XD. I mean, I know everyone else has been waiting too. But you know me, of course, I know I got that inside information. This has been on the list for a while. I'm so excited to sort of see this out in, in the release. Uh, there's some, you can do some really wild stuff in this. Yeah. Um, there, there is one also I wanted to, uh, I was playing with the uh, micro interactions, you know? And uh, there is something also that you can combine that I really liked, yeah. which are time transition. Mm, yeah. So yeah. you can transition with auto animate on a tap, on drag, mm -hmm. but also with time. With time. Which means that, as you can say, for instance, as soon as you are on this screen, so if we show uh, my XD, as soon as you are on this one, tr go to this one with auto animate. Mm -hmm. So how does it work? Here, you just say the trigger is time, and after zero seconds, which is like right away, auto animate to the next one. Mm -hmm. And between this one and this one, I'm just dragging. Okay? So drag and auto animate. So what does it do is that not only it gives you like this feel, you know, like I'm like extending, it, but then mm -hmm. when I release, whoosh, boom. Oh, it's so good. I'm adding some sound effects because of that one. You, you, that's, that's like the next, that's like the next yeah. thing we did. I will do the sound, sound effect. Yes. <laughs> so good. That's so good. Nice. That's so good. All right, you want to see something really weird I did? Yeah, do right, something this weird. Is, this is something weird. OK, so I have, I, I really love warping stuff inside of After Effects. I mean, so inside of Illustrator. Like I like taking vectors and just like warping them and then doing weird things. So this is a really strange example and just sort of showing some of the potential. So here, what I want to do is I want when I it's almost like a it's like a secret password, like a secret gesture interface ah, with your fingertips. So love you, it. when you drag on it, it's almost like you're kind of you're like interacting with the screen and the screen okay. is responding. And so I have this um, I had this invisible element on here that's going to be my trigger. And I have the state oh, of my lines here to there. Oh, so, that's cool. So now here, what I'll do is I wired it up to do oh. the drag, auto animate. So if you drag from this point, then it will like yep. start. Yep. So it'll, it'll start but morphing. These are the same shapes. They're so they these are the same lines. I've just morphed them inside of Illustrator. No. So. Whoa. Whoa. That's so weird. And actually, this one I wired up What's a little more. What's the secret more. password? Um, oh, yeah. that's cool. So I so said I did. We could do. I have a time thing here, but let me just go to show this again. So you go from here, there, and I just sort of had it where you could just kind of morph oh it back and. Oh my god! And from there, I did some. I, I wanted like, well, this is UI, so we need, you know, we need a little timed uh, you know, interaction here. That will trigger a bunch more. Kind of initiate our UI here. Looks so good. It's like Blade Runner. So, so good. So and good. Uh, Troy is asking, oh, yep. thanks for bringing the animation from our control. Uh, and uh, could we add like maybe a timeline one mm. way? So 
One feature I would like to uh, also express today, like if you go to the file menu, mm -hmm. uh, there is a new feature which is export to After Effects. So if you are a professional motion designer, actually not like you don't have to be a crazy designer, like yeah. motion designer actually to to uh, animate UI, but now if you wanted to go extend yeah, it and really take like that one in. step yeah. further. And if you know how to master the timeline, keyframes, mm -hmm. then now you can export all your artboards in After Effects. If you know After Effects, it will create one composition per artboard and keep all the layers in position. So you can just directly start playing with uh, the rotation property, easing, everything. So mm -hmm. it's really amazing feature. I'm super excited for uh, our friends it's such so as good. Johnny so Vino, good. you know, who are so good at animating UIs. Mm -hmm. uh, now you can export everything in one click. Yep. So this, this is kind of a cool example of something that... Oh, um, what is this? I, we we're talking a lot about responsive type behaviors, right? So you want to... And, and I was in this moment where we were in a presentation and I wanted to describe to someone like how like type should behave as you scale to different sizes. So this is a little example that I put together where I wanted to show how type should respond as you as it gets you know, because less and less sort of space. And sort oh, of how it scales. Like on the web. Or, yeah. yeah. And so one thing I'll do is actually animate between the sizes of your type. So yeah, I have... You interpolate the size? Yeah. To, to, so you go from... No. So now what I can do... I have never tried here. this. Oh, crap. So now I have three states you showing the different configuration of type. That's so good. Pretty sick. Okay, I had no idea you can change yeah. that too. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Just nicely scales down. Scales down. Oh, look at that. It's so easy now to tell and give a presentation on responsive type rules. And then I also did one where I wired it up for drag, where I could actually now just have, I could actually see that scaling happening in real time. And someone is Very asking, handy. can we show uh, the export to After yes. Effects? I will try yes. to prepare a sample and, and then I will show you. Uh, yeah. It's just, and let's just, uh, there's one really amazing, so also when, when you start combining this with um, masking, it's really, really interesting, really cool. So, you know, let's say, I'm gonna go find some, I need some images here. What do I need? Oh, with masking? Yeah, with masking. So, oh, yeah, it's super cool trick. Yeah, yeah, yeah super yeah, cool trick. Because you can animate just the mask. Yep. That, I was can. super happy to discover that. Yeah. So, um, let's say we wanted to make like, um, it was like maybe a little loading animation, right? Um, let's take this background here. Let's paste it and let's mask it down here. Okay. Right? So now I have it in a mask. I'm launching After Effects, uh, Cody, so give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite like XZ. It's, it's not like XZ. It's, it's a little bit bigger. It's a little yeah, bit bigger. It's a little bit older. Too. Yeah, a little bit older. So what I can do is I can animate both the mask and the thing inside the mask. So now that I have that, you know, we could just uh, copy that element here onto this other one, and I can go and actually change the shape of this mask, and make it even like a little bit rounder. And now I can go and wire that up, do a tap, and now I'll wire that one back up there. So yeah, so you can, and then the cool, like, other things you could do if you wanted to do, like, actually, let's do this. I know what we can do here. I'm going to take this away. Do, like, instead of, like, you know, some of the cards usually have, like, a name. Let's yeah. say this is, like, a, you know, like, this is, like, your movie title. So let's say this is, um, this one we'll do as first name. So I'm gonna, I want to have, you know, like, the, the title of the movie underneath it. But what I could do is actually put those titles, so instead of the title sliding with the card, I could make a repeat grid like okay. this, right? And I can say this is Venom is here. Okay. Right? And then I can put this inside and of a mask. Ah, I right? see where you're going. Okay. So now let's copy this. Put this over oh, yeah. here. Just copy paste. So. Just copy and paste it over. What's good with X is that we copy paste in place. Yep. Whatever happens. So I'll just slide. So you double click to enter. To enter it. And group. And you slide, slide my repeat content, grid. But not uh, the not mask. The, not the mask. So now when I go and we preview this drag. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, just switched Ooh, like that. Ooh, look at that's that. That's so good. 
Oh, I love it. So many amazing things, and yeah, working with masks is so good. Uh, so powerful, so powerful. So we had a friend asking in the chat, yep. uh, getting more information about After Effects. We will show it, but right before, this is the time for chat and win. Maybe mm. we can play a super cool video, and, and I will explain what this is. It was a super cool video, maybe one day made with XD. Maybe. maybe. Uh, this one was made I'm with After Effects. I'm very inspired. I want to go try and make all of that. <laughs> so how does it work? Be active in the chat. Say how excited you are about XD. Yes. How excited Let's you are about Adobe Max and the keynote. And we will randomly pick someone and give away uh, 100 um, credit on Sticker Mill. So Sticker Mill is our partner this week. And you will be able to uh, print 100 custom stickers of your own design. So this is a great gift. Thank you, Sticker Mill, and we will display the name of uh, the winner in a few minutes, okay? In the meantime, I want to show uh, how to export yeah, to After Effects. So here I just have a few artboards, okay? Uh, you select the artboards. You have to, maybe you can select just one or two. That's your choice, but you have to select artboards to be able to do file export After Effects. Okay, so it's quite easy. Yep. So now if we look at what it becomes in After Effects, you have here All what things. we call the, yeah, the composition. Com so yep. here you have each artboard is the composition mm -hmm. and all the layers are positioned on my timeline. So if I go back here and if I want to move these dots, you know, after it becomes like a classic After Effects work. So I say here mm -hmm. and after a few seconds, I want this yeah, to make move, your keyframe yeah, to move here. Actually, I have one on our under, so that's the one I wanted. Yeah, one keyframe here. Whoop. And move here. You do your easing, whatever you want. You start playing, and you can animate whatever you want, okay? So you have more controls, but that's after effects. Yep. So congratulations, congratulations to Daniel, Daniel. Boguzewski. So you will, uh, we will contact you on Behance, private message, and you will get 100 Seeker Mule custom stickers, okay? And uh, yeah, nice. when, when you print your stickers, make sure to share them with us on Twitter and oh, yeah. Instagram. Definitely you can that. add the Adobe Live hashtag, okay? Yep. Cool, let's go back to your screen time. All right. So animation, we could do that all day long. I thought what we could also do is maybe show off some of the amazing plugins as well. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. I have, uh, okay, let me see if I have more animations. Yeah, you got some more Maybe animations. one or two oh, I want dude, to let's show. Do, let's yeah. do the animations, let's do those. Yeah, ju just this one because someone was asking, can we animate shapes? Oh yeah. And yeah. you were showing like the, what you did in Illustrator, yep. which is uh, beautiful yep. with the little fingerprint. Little dragging, yep. It could be also simple shapes like this. So if this path has the same name as this one, see, so I can, Go on here and really like, oh, really, he's really very angry. mad. Very, very mad. And you use auto animate, then, like, then you can really create like this uh, super <laughs> expressive <laughs> animation. So you're know, like, just using so the good. same shapes. So good. And uh, also to show you another example, you can also uh, playing with uh, layers and the opacity, mm -hmm. have several colors, mm -hmm. and uh, transfer like a. Uh, uh, one easy trick that I used to uh, use all the time when I was like a more uh, interactive uh, designer yeah. using Flash. When you have something moving to the left, it's always good to add something that moves to the other direction. Moves the other way. It will just add some uh, depth to your design. So, so you can create something like this. Like, Ooh. and again, so this a few weeks ago, okay. I would see this on the web. I would say, okay, this person used After Effects. Here, no timeline, no. nothing. I, I switch to the TV shows category. Everything is smooth, auto animate, I mean, two screens. You know, a lot of the inspiration for this and of the workflow really came from like us being UI designers <laughs> and, and trying to use After Effects to like communicate, right? And keyframes, right? We really think about our boards now as almost like these visual keyframes and they really makes it really powerful. You know, you can have any any design. You know, like we just went and grabbed again, we could grab any any design from anywhere mm -hmm. and just go and start yeah. start playing with it. You know, we don't have to have any plan in mind. And I think that's what's what's so exciting about the potential. Because all I have to do is take that here, 
and go and start, you know, animating out these different uh, elements. Yeah. And it will just, you know. As long as you copy paste. Yeah, as long as you copy paste. Has the same paste. name, you'll be good. Yeah, you'll be good. What am I trying to do here? So maybe we do like a swipe down. These things can go. Oh, Marek is asking, how do you flip objects? So there is a workaround today, but there is a real uh, flip object coming soon. So be patient, Marek. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's coming soon. If you visit uh, adobexd.userverse.com, there is a, a big conversation about this, and the team said, okay, we're on it, so mm -hmm. it's coming soon. All right, so we just really, okay, just moving just some, really mess around. around. With, yeah, just moving, moving things around. And, to group and let's see, I mean, that, it's so easy see to what preview. Happens. Yeah, let's just see what, yeah. what happens here. So you, you go to prototype, you say, if I click here, tap, tap auto, auto animate. animate. Oh, be careful, that, yeah, the, the, the home one. is not. Yeah, here we go. And that's it. Easy. I mean, and you start making decisions regarding your animation. I mean, I think that's what's so powerful about, like, and, and why we're really, you know, with XD doing what we're doing is bringing, you know, motion, interaction, you know, into the designer's toolkit. Because yeah. if you have them at the very, when you start the project at the very beginning, I think the results in the end will be much more exciting, much more, I think you'll be able to push your designs much further. Uh, and that's, that's, what, that's what it's all about. And also, like some of them, you're talking, oh, there is no timeline and stuff. So I can show you an example also, again, using tri time transitions, mm -hmm. uh, if we switch to my screen, where you just say, OK, so this is the first stage. And the first interaction would be a tap on the download button. Imagine you know when you are in the App Store and you download an app, then you have an animation that mm -hmm. tells you, OK, now the app is, done is downloaded. Do you want to open the app or get the file? So this is my first screen. And we say jump to this uh, this screen, and then I just uh, emulate the progress bar, saying after 0.4 seconds, go here and transition for three seconds. So mm -hmm. Just to pretend just to, just that I'm load. downloading something. Loading. And here you see there is open file. So actually, open file is here. It's just hidden. Same. The opacity is zero percent. So let's see how it looks. So let's say I'm on the App Store. Mm -hmm. I click on Download. Whoop, this is loading. OK, I can Boom. open the file. Yeah. Super easy to communicate yeah. the intent yeah. of uh, an app download. So, yeah, so um, Ed was asking, yeah. we can animate without human interaction. Yes, this is exactly that, like the time transition. Yeah. So you can have, you know, when people come to your prototype for the first time, you could have a loading screen. You could spin some yeah, a spinner. spinners. And then, then you could come into um, you know, into like the, the the title screen or whatever you want. You kick off and combining them together, I th I still think it, I'm not entirely sure what the limits are yet. Oh, I, no, like, yeah. I haven't seen yeah, we're just some, some starting crazy, experimenting crazy again. stuff. And I know you will create crazy stuff. Like, yeah, all the we, people we're watching. We're really this. excited <laughs> to see what you guys create. Okay, uh, what do you want to show now? Uh, some plugins, maybe. Let's do some yeah, plugins do and some after plugins. the voice. Yeah, then we'll do the voice after that. Yeah. So um, let's go. I have this app. All right, let's go find some plugins. So we're going to go out here and discover some plugins. So you can either start from the start screen that you know go through the add-ons, or here inside you can go to the plugins menu and you can go to discover plugins. And now these are all the plugins that are available for XD. These are both on Mac and Windows. Okay. It's pretty amazing. So the developer was able to sort of you know work with us and submit through our developer program. And now we publish those inside of XD on both Mac and Windows. And I can just sort of go through here and browse. And this one that, that I love, that's actually one of my favorites, is this Google Sheets one. So I'm definitely installing Google that. Sheets. That's okay. gonna be amazing. So how does it work? You so show yeah, let's show let's let's okay. do it. And then I'm actually going to install have? a couple else. I'm oh, Stark. Stark. I met them in New York. Those guys are great. Uh, we'll do Angle. angle oh, UI Faces. We need some UI Faces. Oh, I use it all the time. So yeah. now it's directly in the app? Right, directly in the app. Oh, cool. That's because I go so on cool. the website all the time. Yeah. I download the files. Yeah. That's great. Maybe we'll even do Dribble. I'll we'll post Dribble. Maybe oh, we'll do awesome. Um, all right, there's just so many here. I haven't, I haven't even been able to check out all of them, but you guys all go and check them out today. And yes, guys, we will show the voice comment right after. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Yep. I, have a, I have a surprise for Tanya. All right, all right. A brand so new app. here we go. So Google Sheets, this is probably my favorite one. What this does is you can actually use the data 
from a Google Sheet. Oh no. And pull that content right into your design. Can I do it in like in a repeat grid or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Okay, I will definitely use it. All right. So all you have to do here. You know what's great? Oh, we, have, is... we have to go back. We have to select something. Oh, uh, okay. So we're gonna go and we're gonna select <coughs> this group here. So this is like a like an Instagram social posting app. Okay. And so I've got this um, sheet <coughs> out here. Oh yeah. So you have and some I'm, uh, I'm, columns. Yeah, there. we've got some columns. So we've got the name of the title post. We've got the usernames, and we've got some images here. So what I can do is copy this URL and bring it in and go to the Google Sheets player <coughs> and paste in that URL. And here now I can actually map all of the fields to Google Sheet content, all my design elements to the Google Sheet content. Wow. So, so even thumbnail. Oh, it's analyzed the... Go to... It analyzed the Google Sheet? Yep. <coughs> and you just do a mapping. Okay, yep. that's, that's cool. Just do a mapping, so we hit apply. Boom, populates That's it right it, there. Already? Yeah, done. So here, let's just go, what? this is a, yeah, it was amazing. So we go back to it, let's go look at it again. Because we can actually go and go through there again. So I inside this group, let's go break it down. So inside of this post yeah. group element, right, I've got, um, I've got a place for the profile picture. I've got the critic uh, score. Okay. I've got the date posted. I've got the title okay, the post. So I have the thumbnail. So you name your layers. Name all my layers, right? So to that's be really easier handy. to map everything. Yep. So then when I go to the Google Sheets plugin, and I do that link again, so now it shows me all the elements in XD that I have selected and their la and their layer name. Yeah. And then, and then I just choose how to map those to my Google Sheet. Okay. So if I'm super organized and I'm working with someone who's, who's maybe producing all that content, we coordinated. Uh, that's that's always yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's always iffy, but um, then we just, we just hit apply. There it goes. I and mean, it works the same whether you have like a multi-selection. Mm -hmm. So as long as these groups all have the, oh, same, the same layer uh, names, layer names. Same thing. We can go here and go back. And actually, we don't even need to repaste the public link. We can just say refresh content. Wow. I think. Oh, it's yep. still in memory. Yep. Oh yeah. So it's calling Google again. Yeah. Let's see. It should do it. Awesome. Hey, here we go. Wow. Look at that. That's good. Like if you have a copy editor, you know, like they can just like work mm -hmm. in Google, uh, in Google uh, Sheet, and that's it. I mean, it's there super is. smart. And then and it works with repeat grid in the same way. Wow. So, but this maybe this time we actually want to. This is one of the my favorite little 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 notes here. I can actually go randomize content. So I can click this little button here. Ah, oh, into randomize um, in the table. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it's applying oh, typing, it. that's good. Super, super handy. It's a really quick, easy super way smart. for me to get all that content right in. All right. Uh, we have Hassan in the chat who used XD from the first month of the beta. A beta. Oh, yeah. Ah, excellent, Hassan. It's not the same, huh? Me too. Oh, yeah, you too? Amazing. Oh, Amazing. No way. Oh, yeah. all right. <laughs> yeah. We can okay. be friends now. Want to show another plugin? Yeah, let's show another one. And then we will show the voice comment. Yeah, let's do... They got super excited um, during the keynote this morning. Let's see, which which one should we do? Should we do show... Maybe we should share to dribble. Let's do a share to dribble. I haven't done that one yet. Let me pull up um, my type one again. So I want to post this shot to dribble. So I actually have this already sized for a dribble post. Yeah, dribble so is pretty... expecting a specific... Uh... Yep. Resolution oh, I dimension. Might, actually, I might. Uh, this might not be great because I might have to go. Well, okay. Let's see. Have Maybe I we can uh, switch to my screen. Yeah, switch to my screen. <laughs> Let me do this real quick. Yeah. As you're logging in, do I have I another think... example? Let me see. All right. It's auto animate. Yeah. I have more stuff, but I don't want to show you because there is a surprise. I just do this. Okay. I'm ready. Oh, there it is. That's it. Uh, okay. So so good. Okay. So I'm gonna share this dribble shot. So now here, um, I'm going to call this intro to responsive type. Tags, oh, I love this Adobe XD, awesome design. Those are <laughs> great. And then this is an intro to an Presentation. 
Adobe XD. Great. And now I'm posting it as me. I could actually, I, I can as actually, a, as a team. I can actually post. Yeah, if I'm on a team, I can actually post to my team as well. So I'm actually gonna use. Maybe I'll post as Adobe XD. Right. The shot has been posted. That's it. So Boom. Can you let me know like how um, developers can develop plugins? How can they appear in XD? So is there yeah. like an approval process? Like how does it? So work? if you want to create your own, yeah, you can create your own. Oh, the you, API is public. The everything. API is public. Okay. You can go <coughs> and actually develop it here on your own on oh, the desktop, great. test it out, send it to your friends, they can load it into XD. And then if you want, you can submit to the, the official Adobe I.O. Uh, workflow and then get submitted and actually end up in that list on, on uh, point. And, and can I develop a plugin and just share it with a friend, like without going through yeah, Adobe? Yeah, totally. You can just send it to me and then I can and just you can launch it. Double click, yeah. you launch it. Yeah. Oh, done. That's super handy. Awesome. And if you're here at Max, I don't know if you're joining, but we actually are doing a session on developing your own plugin. You should go check it out. Oh, yeah, I should go yeah. to the workshop. Yeah. Yeah. I have some ideas. It's pretty good. I want to connect XD to Adobe Live. Yeah. Ooh, that would be good. All right. OK, so cool. So do we want to show off voice? Yeah, we have, uh, how long? Like, we have 15 minutes yeah. to show voice. Oh, super exciting. Um, so you show your example, and I show mine. After. All right, let me. Go and see. Yeah, and I see. And now, thanks for watching, Joe, Christoph, Emma, Sergey, Thomas. We're live from LA, live from uh, Adobe Max, the Creative Conference. We'll be live for three days, okay? So there will be another keynote tomorrow morning uh, with amazing speakers. Mm -hmm. We have Albert Watson, one of my favorite photographers. We have uh, Ron Howard, the movie director. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah that's He will be amazing. on stage tomorrow. There is also uh, the illustrator who created Wonder Woman. She will be on stage. Uh, there will be. Uh... Okay. Okay. Can you monitor when we go back here? Okay. Let me know. We should come back in a few seconds. Okay. Let's go back to my XD. The XD awesomeness was just too much for you to handle. No, I think it was because uh, I was using this illustration of Tallinn, <laughs> and YouTube said, oh, it's too much. It's out, it's out, it's out. It's too much. Can't do it. OK, we're good? OK, so what I want to do is talk to my watch. OK, OK. So use my voice and say, so you type the comment, right? Yep, yep. Hey, Tallinn, can you do this? Yep. Just How like do that. you feel? And we will try with a French accent. So if it works with my accent, it works with everyone. Everybody. Okay, okay, okay. so okay. if I say this, that's what I mean. Like if I say this, yep. then then go go to the next screen. Then go here. Okay. But I want you to speak now. But maybe you will have a weird voice. Okay. So don't worry. Okay. So how can I say that? Okay. So from here, I click, click here. Click here. Yep. So and now, I say. Yep. Time. Time. Yep, and now and you I say, say speech, speech playback. playback. I am not happy, Michael. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Let's let's try this. <laughs> okay, let's, let's check it out. Okay, okay. so go so, to here. So I will now prototype. Oh, let's go to the the menu. menu. Okay. I'm on my watch. Okay. So, oh, okay. Tap there. Uh, tap there. Okay. okay. Here. So now, how can I speak? So now you just need to press the space bar okay. to, to activate your microphone. Hey, Tallinn, how do you feel? <laughs> ah, it worked, it worked. It worked out, yeah. It worked, it worked. It's very, okay, let me try again. Okay, okay. Hey, Tallinn, how do you feel? I am not happy, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Not your voice, we're getting there. Not my there. voice, yeah. Getting there. So you see the, the uh, transition was not what I expected because I said action transition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So now we will do auto animate. Yeah, and we will do snap. And you will see how good this is. Um, hey, Tallinn, how do you feel? 
I am see? not happy, Michael. It's <laughs> so good. And that's what I was saying is that uh, with the auto animate features, you see, I'm just like moving your eyes mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I'm just moving the shadow behind. Yep. And looks, look how okay. smooth this so is. Good. Look. Whoop, whoop. Oh my gosh. That's you. Amazing. You're alive. That's so good. You're alive I on my watch. I will become a, an app. I will be uploaded into the AI and live forever on Michael's watch. <laughs> That's cool, huh? I love it. It's so good. So I was wondering something. Yeah. Maybe you can let me know Tell because me. I haven't tried. Okay. If I want to uh, have like uh, several comments. So because here I'm asking, yep. hey Talin, how do you feel? Yep. Okay. But maybe I want to to ask uh, something else. Mm -hmm. I want to remove this. Come on. Oh, it's going through the same. Oh. Oh. oh no. You can't move it. Oh, that's fine. I can use this one. Okay. Can you, can I say this and then type another comment? Yes, you can. So I can say can listen voice. For something else. Yeah. Hey Talin. Okay, let's try. Huh? Where is Michael? Okay. Okay. Then you go left, right, and at the end, you say time, mm -hmm. and you will speak to me. Speak. And say, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, that's this is so good. Let's oh try. Gosh. Let's try. Let's try. Okay. Okay. Whoop. Okay. So now I'm here. Okay. Hey, Talin, where is Michael? <laughs> I have no idea. It's so good. It works. It's so good. It works. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's try again. Hey, Talin, how do you feel? I am not happy, Michael. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you can have so two look, comments. You can have them on there, and you can have you multiple can... comments. Yeah. This is great. It's so good. It's so good. So what's the vision with this? Like, uh, what what do you want? To prototype, so we can do like yeah. Hey Siri, blah, blah, blah. We could do uh, Hey Alexa. Yeah. yeah, you could do you know like Spotify has start like a lot of you see a lot of mobile apps oh, actually yeah. start oh, to yes. integrate Spotify. a lot more voice. Um, in the car, in the car, the car. Yeah. Uh, when you drive, yeah. like it's better to speak. The um, you know the TV, a lot of oh, TVs yeah, interactive now have TVs. Voice, uh, voice integration, smart TVs. Yeah. So if you want to design the UI, for oh you're your right, TV. you can speak. Like I have a Samsung and I can yeah. speak in the remote yeah. control. Remote control. So, you know, again, like this really just opens the door, I think, to what's possible. And, you know, like, again, like maybe you didn't know you could design for voice, so that maybe you could make a career in designing for voice. Because sometimes when those tools are hard to use, right, and you can't get oh, your ideas, yeah. you can't, you have no way to prototype or visualize your ideas, you're not really sure what's possible, you're not really sure, sure what the rules are. And so I think this is a really great uh, feature that's really going to help. Just more designers like unlock the potential of voice, and right, across the board and on any device. So we have a few questions. Yeah. Like, can we, can we change the voice? Like uh, several uh, friends, like Adriano and Ray, asking. Yeah. Uh, can we change the voice to a male voice? Not or? not yet. Not yet. Not okay. yet. Okay. But definitely something the team is looking at. Um, of course, the team is looking at getting um, apps on. Again, Koi showed off the preview app on the Alexa device, which they're working really hard on getting out the door. Um, we're also looking at ways that you can share your voice prototypes you know, via the web, so you can allow for others to, to test your prototypes um, as well and give you feedback and comments on those. And you know, again, like again, like the whole goal here is just to you know have those tools at your at the ready. To really develop your ideas in real time and really test the and really push the potential of what's possible with voice interaction. And just to make sure everyone understands, this is not a sneak. This is not a sneak. This is available today. All available today. I think I've never seen this. Like I've never seen a way to prototype a voice command out. No. Yeah, this is, is the I, first. This is the first. I mean, wow. you know, we we uh, brought in the team from Say Spring, um, which was <laughs> last year, which was the team. They want Morgan Freeman's voice. Right? Yes, that would be amazing. Oh, that would be amazing. Different voice packs. I don't want Michael, Michael's voice as my voice assistant. <laughs> yeah. I Michael. want Talin's voice. Michael. Hey Talin. Start the oven. How's the weather in San Francisco? <laughs> You're like, and then you would do like, <laughs> check the, you know, look through your I window. I don't know, man. Yeah, look out the window. Check it yourself. Uh, yeah, you know, like, I mean, that's really the goal, I think, of XT is, you know, like, this is just a start. You know, we really want to get these tools into designers' hands so that, you know, they can realize their full potential on these different, for these different devices, for these different, you know, platforms, you know, for what's here now, but then what's coming, um, you know, that's always the barrier. Like, if you don't have a tool to experiment and to, to visualize, 
then you, you, you don't have any way of pushing those platforms forward. You know? Yeah, and uh, Shin and Maker is actually making a good point too, like it will be a cool accessibility feature. And yes, you can also that is very true. prototype accessibility yep. uh, experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, Combine that with uh, with plugins like Stark, where you can actually val check and validate your your the contrast values like and the color uh, of your of your de design, and you can also use the World Ready plugin to check the localization. Again, these are, these are all things I think that the designers haven't had in the front of their minds because to do them was very hard, or it took a lot of time, or it took a lot of management to do those things. Yeah. You know, like we have a whole team that's focused on localization, and so. You know, if I wanted to, to do those, I'd have to work with them and get them to help me figure it out, and then this is back and forth. But you know, if designers have these tools at the ready, you know, for designing for accessibility, you know, for designing for internationalization, like like, then I think they're they're going to come up with much better solutions than they do today. So that's pretty it's pretty exciting. So amazing new features in XD today. We go, saw go grab them. Import grab from them. Illustrator, export mm -hmm. to After Effects, the link symbols, uh, the auto animation, the plugins, all the add-ons. And uh, the voice comments. The voice. Raphael is asking how do I export to a GIF. So, oh, yeah. next week yep. we will be back in a weekly show, the design, uh, designing in, in XDE. Mm -hmm. So, every Friday, 12 p.m. on Behance. But next week we'll be live with Stalin for one hour to do more deep dive. And we promise we will show you how to export well, a GIF. We're going deep. If you want to share it on Behance, Dribble, and Shine and on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere to share your animations, okay? Yeah. So and we'll show you a few tricks. Show, send us what you made in, a, in a XD with Auto Enemy. Tweet at us, we want to see it. Oh yeah, please. Hashtag right. us, uh, CC us, hashtag Adobe Live. Uh, we will display the schedule one more time because we will be back live in five minutes with amazing guests. So, so far we had live illustrations with Working K. We just covered what is new in mm -hmm. Adobe XD. And now we'll welcome Janet, Ooh, the product marketing manager of Rush with Jason Vong and Vivian Lee, who are YouTube creators, and they will show you how to use Rush for the first time. It will be the first demo of Rush after the keynote. So exciting. And then we will cover uh, what's new with the drawing apps on iPad with Sky Webster, what's new in Photoshop, and what's new in Illustrator. So stay tuned. We are so live exciting. for uh, yeah four more hours oh. you know, on Behance Not Ten Session. Thank you so much, Stanley. So much fun, everyone. Always a pleasure. Always yeah? a pleasure. Next week, we're going to go deep. Next we'll week, fun. yeah. Okay, be there next week on Friday, 12 p.m. We'll be back for one hour, uh, both of us. All right. uh, thank you so much for thank watching. You guys. Stay tuned. We'll be back in about four minutes. Bye, everyone. See ya.